Hi, I'm Nick Veach, and today I'm going to be talking about some of the annoyances, I suppose, of Windows Vista. And the thing in particular we'll be talking about is something called User Account Control, or UAC. Now, what on earth is User Account Control? Well, if you use the control panel or some other software, when you make changes to settings that apply across Vista, you may have come across it. You can easily tell when you're going to come across UAC because there'll be a little shield next to the button that you click on. So let's try this one. And you'll see I get a user account control window on the screen. The rest of the screen is grayed out. I can't do anything else unless I choose continue or cancel on this screen. So I'm going to click on cancel. Now people find that annoying for two reasons. One is the the message is really just there as a as a safeguard to stop you changing settings without being aware of it. And the second is that if you're running other software at the time, it can interfere with it because it locks up the, the, the complete screen. You can't do anything else until you click one of those buttons. So for those reasons, some people might want to disable it. Now, there are various utilities you can download to get around UAC, but you don't really need any of them because you can change the settings from within Windows itself. In the control panel, if we click on System and Maintenance, scroll down here to Administrative Tools and click on that. There are lots of uh, tools listed here. The one we want is this one, Local Security Policy. So I'll click on that. And again, we get a user account control window. Click on Continue this time. And this software controls all sorts of uh, security policies and, and settings on your Vista machine. If we click on Local Policies here and Security Options, there's a long list of policies here. If you scroll right the way down to the bottom, here's the user account control stuff. And I'll just slide that over a bit so that you can see what the descriptions say. Now, this is an interesting one. Switch to the secure desktop when prompting for elevation. That's the when the screen locks up and you can't do anything else. So if I right click on that and select properties and Disabled. Okay. Now if I just go back to the control panel and try this again, you'll see that this time the requester still comes up, but it doesn't interfere with anything else. I could still be doing something else. I could ignore that for a while if I wanted to. Um, and to be honest, for me, that is the most annoying thing about user account control, and it may just be turning that off that stops it from being annoying for me, for you. It doesn't pose much of a security risk doing that, and it won't cause any trouble with any other Windows applications. If you want to remove the requesters entirely, um, you are going to have to disable some more security systems for Windows Vista, so you might want to think twice about doing that. Or it may be that you just want to do it for a certain period of time while you make lots of changes and uh, then you can turn it back on again. I'll, I'll show you how to do that now. So I'll cancel that. And back in this local security policy window, this is the one we want. User account control Behavior of the elevation prompt for administrators in admin approval mode. So I select that and right click. Choose properties. And we've got three options. Now elevate without prompting is the one that we want. And that basically means that you will switch to administrator mode without the requester pop popping up. So you won't need to click on continue at all. The screen won't freeze, there'll be no requester. It'll just let you do anything. Um, if you want to click on the explain tab, it explains 
exactly what all the different modes mean. Now, the only problem with doing this is when I click on OK, I get a message saying, check your user account control settings. Now, that's Windows Security Center that's telling me that. And it's quite right to because um, it's a security system that's been turned off. Unfortunately, Windows Security Center will keep flashing little icons at me until I turn it back on again. Um, I can turn off the notifications from Windows Security Center. Uh, if I click here, don't notify me and don't display the icon. And it says after that, not recommended. And that's because, obviously, you turn off all the notifications for other things. Windows Security Center will still be running, but you'll actually have to open Windows Security Center to check whether anything like the, the firewall or anything is uh, behaving suspiciously. So I could click on that, but I don't want to. I'm not going to do it now. If you're very familiar with Windows and you're sure your system is secure, you might just want to turn that off. Alternatively, you can leave it on, and when you've finished making all your settings, you can just turn user account control back on again. I can do that directly from Security Center. I click Turn On Now. Security Center is now happy. And if I go back to the control panel, you can see the requester has appeared again. Now, it hasn't turned back on the locking of the screen, um, which may or may not be a good thing, depending on your point of view. Cancel that again. Close that. If you want to turn back on the screen locking, you have to do that in the local security policy tool. And just click on Enabled and OK. And that's it for changing some of the user account control settings. Do remember that they are security systems, they're there to help you. If, you, if they're not annoying you too much, don't turn them off and forget about it. Um, only turn them off if they're going to be a problem to you when you're changing lots of settings and turn them back on again later. Okay.